All right, my amazing God. Today, He sends His fire from heaven. Wow, we're going to learn about God sending fire down from heaven. Have you ever seen fire, Nehemiah? Where'd you see fire? I saw fire at camping. At camping? What, where'd you see fire, Loria? Um, I've seen lots of fire. Um, I've seen fire. We've done a lot of um, bonfires at home um, because we made a new fireplace and all that. Mm -hmm. And we um, roasted hot dogs. So you've seen lots of fires. Have you, Jalen, have you seen, like, seen lots of fires? I've seen fire at mm -hmm. What about you? Did you see fire, Mommy? Yeah, you have, haven't you? When, if you if you burn some sticks or something like that, then you see fire. What? Yeah, when I saw fire, uh, fire was over everywhere, and, and I saw it right behind my sister. She was scared. Oh, you were dreaming it? Dreaming. And my sister was too scared. She didn't like it. Okay. Well, really, fire is very dangerous. You never play with fire. It's not something you play with. Because if it touches you, Jalen, if fire touches you, it burns you, doesn't it? Have you ever been touched by fire? Have you ever hurt, been hurt by fire? It burns you, usually. But God, we're going to talk about God sending His fire from heaven. His fire, the fire from heaven, that's just that ice machine. His fire from heaven is, is different than the fire from, uh, uh, that you, like if you see it on a, a bonfire or something. If you put your hand in that fire, oh, it'll burn you and it'll hurt you bad. But this kind of fire is wonderful fire from heaven. What am I? Um, I saw fire a lot, but I was at camping. You were at camping? Okay. All right, let's, let's uh, look at what we're going to do today about this is the last lesson on my amazing God. Next time we're going to have a different kind of a unit. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but this is the last lesson on my amazing God. We, we learned that my amazing God sent His only begotten Son. Who is His only begotten Son, Nehemiah? Um, Jesus and God. Jesus is His only begotten Son. Then we said our amazing God to do amazing things to call you out. Who, who did He call out with an amazing thing, Gloria? Moses, Elijah. Yeah, but Moses mainly, right, with a burning bush. Okay, what about my amazing God will help me to be a blessing? We learned that, that He'd help you to be a blessing. We learned that it, my amazing God gave the people water out of the rock. We learned that. We learned my amazing God gave me a ladder to heaven. We learned that. My amazing God will help me speak His word. Well, that, what was, who was that about? Uh -oh. Who was that about? Yeah, Balaam's donkey wasn't. He helped, he helped Balaam's donkey to speak his word, didn't he? Speak what was going on. So my amazing God supplies all my need, and my amazing God is love. So we learned a lot about our amazing God during this uh, whole unit. Today it's going to be my amazing God sends his fire from heaven. And we sang a song this morning about let it fall on me, let it fall on me. Let's talk about how at first it fell from heaven. Here's a picture of this king and queen, and they are wicked. They're mean, they're ugly, and they're nasty. They didn't do right, and they didn't love God, and they didn't worship God. They worshiped a God called Baal, and Baal was a bull god, and they even threw babies into him and killed them. They were really not very good people king and queen. And so Elijah came along and he said, it's not going to rain until I say it can rain. And it didn't rain either for three and a half years. God sent the ravens to feed him and he sent him by the brook to eat. Yes? We that at yes, school. yes. And we studied this already in our, in our classes, in our Sunday school class. So Elijah went to, to a woman in Zarephath and she fed him after he kept the meal cruise, uh, the cruise of oil and the uh, barrel of meal all full because God performed that miracle for them. We studied about that. But finally uh, came the time that Elijah called all the people together and said, we're going to prove who is the real God. Is it Baal 
Or is it God Almighty? Is it the Lord Jehovah? Is it God, our God and the God of Israel? So he said, I want all those Baal prophets to build them an altar and we'll be, I'll build my altar and we're going to see who, the, who God really is. The God that answers by fire is really going to be the one that's God. Okay? He answers by fire. So they, the Baal's prophets, they built them an altar. They put a bull up on top of it. And they cried out to their God. They did all kinds of things trying to get God to answer, their God, Baal, to answer them. Now, Baal is not a real God. He's a false God. You can't, you don't need to even worship Baal because he's not even a real God. Okay, Nehemiah? They hurt their Yeah, they did. They were trying to get Baal to answer them, but Baal did not answer them because he's not God. What, Gloria? Uh, when he showed us the first picture um, with the idol Baal, it, um, it made me think with its um, stomach that, um, that was actually just a pit of fire. I thought... Talk about a pot belly stove. Yeah, right. Okay, so so Baal's, Baal's the, all day long, Baal's prophet said, Answer by fire, answer us, O Baal, answer us, O Baal. But Baal could not answer. No matter how loud they cried, no matter how they cut themselves, Baal could not answer. Now, at the end of the day, when they usually made the evening sacrifice, Elijah built up the altar, the real altar of God. Look, he built it with 12 stones. He didn't make it a fancy altar. He just put 12 stones together. He built that altar. Then he took the sacrifice, the little bullock, and he put that on the altar. And then he dug a trench around the altar and put wood around or underneath the altar. It's all ready. And then he told the people, he said, go get some barrels of water. We're going to pour it on the altar. Now, if you know anything about fire, Jalen, if there's water, usually you can't build a fire. Because if it's wet, if the wood is wet, if the sacrifice is wet, if anything's wet, water will put a fire out on it. If you throw water on a fire, it'll put it out. So, but, but Elijah wanted to prove to them that when God answered by fire, that he was really God. He was really God. So, there they go, pouring the water. They poured 12 barrels of water over the sacrifice and over the altar. And the water just filled up the trench all around it. So, the sacrifice was full of water and all wet, wasn't it? Looked like, who, how could they ever light a fire on that? Well, they couldn't. Elijah couldn't light a fire on it, could he? None of these people could light a fire on it. But Elijah stood up and prayed and said... Show the people that you are God. Show the people from, from now on that you are the real God and that you are God. And because he said the one that answers by fire is going to be the one that's really God. And all of a sudden after he prayed that, let's see what happened, Jalen. You want to see what happened? <gasps> fire fell out of heaven. Look. Look, it fell on the sacrifice. It didn't fall on them. It didn't hurt any of them. It just fell directly from heaven onto the sacrifice. It burned up the sacrifice. It burned up the wood. It burned up the stones. Yeah. It licked up the water. Everything disappeared when that fire fell on it. Everything. It was just a burnt up hole left there. Yes. When the fire came down from heaven... Um, that guy, he was crazy. Yes, Elijah. And of course he was. And the rest of the people fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. They realized that Baal was nothing. nothing. They shouldn't worship a false god. But they should only worship the one that answered by fire. Right? Hallelujah, Monty. What? Yes, they fell down on their faces and said, What did they say, Jalen? They said, The Lord. He is the God. Yeah, He is the God. The Lord. He is the God. Yes, and He he threw fire down and hit from heaven, didn't He? Yeah. 
that fire came down and it licked up the sacrifice and the water and the stones and it destroyed it every bit of it. He t he took the sacrifice. He yeah. accepted their sacrifice and he showed it showed it by sending fire down from heaven. Yes. When the fire came down, um, everybody just went their head down and then when they all were super really um, the fire came down, everything was disappeared. Yeah, burn up. And all of them fell on their faces saying, the Lord, He is the God. Now, I want to tell you that that happened way back in the Old Testament. But there's a time when fire fell again from heaven. Do you want to hear about that? When fire fell again from heaven? Okay, first of all, we're going to see what happened before that. Right before that, Jesus, Jesus died on the cross. Yes. Jalen, do you know who that is there? Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 These are two thieves. And Jesus died on the cross, right, Amani? Didn't He die? Why did He die, Gloria? Because um, the Bible says that um, the wages of sin is death. And since Jesus took away all the sin, it basically meant that He now has the sin inside of Him. So he, God had to do what the Bible says. So He had to, um, he had to be, He had to die on the cross. Because of the word of God, He paid the wages for our sin, didn't He? He did. Okay, what about it? Um, Jesus, uh, the, the one in the middle, He died on the cross because every, everybody sinned, and and He died. Um, he didn't do nothing wrong. Only we did. You are very right. He didn't do anything wrong. We did, but Jesus died for our sins, didn't He? Okay, but look, he rose from the dead. He didn't stay dead. He arose from the dead. Look, there's the scars on his hands from being crucified, Jalen. He rose from the dead. He's alive. Yeah. And when he, after he showed himself alive, he went back up to heaven. Yeah, he did. He did. He went back up to heaven. Look, there he goes on the cloud. Whee! Going up on the cloud. Jesus is going up on the cloud. He went back up on... To heaven. Well, you will one day if you go in the rapture. We'll go right up and be on a cloud. Okay, so then after that, he told all of his disciples, he said, you stay in Jerusalem. You stay right here because I'm going to send you from heaven the Holy Ghost. I'm going to send you the Holy Ghost from heaven. Okay, so what he did was they all gathered. He got them all together up together in the upper room. And they all tarried there for 10 days after Jesus rose from the dead. Or 10 days after he went back up to heaven. What, Gloria? I wonder who that was with his hands over his face. I don't know. Maybe it's Peter because he was sad that Jesus left. Yeah, he didn't want Jesus to leave. But look, we don't really know what they did. This is just a drawing. But Jesus went back up in the clouds. In 10 days, they went to the upper room. Now, what do you think they did in the upper room, Nehemiah? There were 120 of them. What were they doing? They were, um, they were looking at God. No, this was after they left there. They went to the upper room. Let's pretend this is the upper room. Let's pretend instead of just a few of us, there's 120 of us. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we talking about Jesus? Are we talking about what he did? Are we talking about how wonderful it was that he rose, rose from the dead after they crucified him? Is everyone in this room times 200? Are, we, are, there, are they praying? Are they praying? Yeah. Yes, they're praying. They're seeking God. And let's see. On the day of Pentecost, let's see what happened. Look what happened. Jalen, look. What is Everybody there? What do you see? Fire. fire. Everybody has fire on their head. They have fire? Where did that fire come? Did it come from a he heaven? Yes, it came from above. And it landed on them. On This just shows it on their heads, but they had it on their shoulders too and on their heads. Fire. It was fire. It wasn't the kind of fire that burnt the altar up. I mean, it didn't destroy. It was the kind of fire from heaven 
that landed on them where they could be a great blessing. Remember, I put this on yours. Was that yours? No, this, that was mine. Okay, you can have it. I don't know if you want to wear it again because it's hard. Was yours great excitement? Uh, that was, um, yes. Okay. Yeah, my yours was great excitement. There's a song back It's all right. It won't matter. Okay, was yours fiery joy? Yeah. Yours was fiery joy. Was yours burning love? Okay. There. Here's the fire sitting on your head. Money. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> hers is clapping. I didn't do it like that. Hers is clapping. See if you can get hers fixed so it won't flat. You did it, Gloria. Gloria. you want me to put yours on? <laughs> I just have a pirate. Burning love. <laughs> You're a pirate. Wait a minute. Oh, no, this one's snapped. Where is that? Bernie, look what I did. Okay. I'll fix it. Come here. Um, hers is stuck in her hand. Daddy, look what I did. Mm -hmm. Go there. I quit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to burn you up. All right. Uh -oh, All right. Go take it to Daddy and help him go fix it. Okay, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, so here they are. They are all praying, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Go over in that. Uh, Brother Jose, fix it. Please. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven. And it, it went through the house. It was a rushing mighty wind. Look, a rushing mighty wind went through the house where they were sitting. And they all began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And tongues of fire set upon each of them. Now, there's your tongue of fire. Look, your tongue of fire is sitting on you. That's the tongue, not your, your tongue. Okay, so... Brother, Brother Jose, just snap it the best you can and let's... Okay, let's see. We only got about another five minutes. Let's see. Okay, let me put it on. Let's see if I can put it on without it. Here. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, there it goes. She got it. She got it. Your fire. Let's see. It's, don't mess with it. <laughs> That's the best we can do. If you mess with it, it'll mess up. Yeah. It says fiery joy. We're, there's the mirror. Go look in the mirror and see yourself. Come here, Monty. Come here. See yourself. Okay. Here, Monty. I'm going to look at the mirror, too. I know. She, it she, had, she had it over her balls. Get over your poop balls. Yeah. All right, go. All right. I'm sorry. You got this one. Okay, go ahead. Go look. All right. Look. They're all looking in the mirror. No, stick, make it stick up. Okay. It's sticking up. All right. Look in the mirror. Okay, come on. Come on. Let Jalen look in the mirror. She didn't get a chance. Mommy, look in the mirror. Forever. All right. Come on. Everybody sit back down. We're done. We're done. All right. Done. So they got the fire. Look, the fire's on their heads. The fire fell on them. Is it burning Mine, yet? Mine. Yes, ma'am. No, it isn't. It isn't burning. burning yet. It's giving Nehemiah great excitement. It's mm -hmm. giving Lori, she's on fire. Look, it's giving Jaylen, she's got fiery joy. And Monty has got burning love. All of those things were happening to them from the fire that fell from heaven. They were not, it wasn't burning them up. It wasn't destroying them. It was actually making them happy and making them praise God and speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. That fire was burning in them. That's the kind of fire God sent this last time. It wasn't fire to destroy or consume. It was fire to be inside of, inside of the sacrifice. Because y'all are the sacrifice. The fire is burning in you when you receive the Holy Ghost. And they look, they all went outside of the upper room and Peter began to preach and 3,000 people were saved when he preached because of the fire that was burning in his heart. Man. God sent the fire. Look, God sent the fire. Let's look at when He sent the fire down on the sacrifice. Let's look at it. Let me get it. I must have put it back up here. Uh-huh. Okay. He set the fire down on the sacrifice. There it is. But look, here he is sending the fire down the second time. 
He set the fire down on their sacrifice, on their lives. And that fire was not to burn them up, but it was to help them to be a blessing. Nehemiah, that fire will help you be a blessing. Okay, let's let's all say. Y'all want to sing it now? Sing. Let it fall on me. Let it fall on me. Let the fire of the Lord from heaven fall on me. The power of the Holy Ghost, the fire that fell at Pentecost. Let the fire from heaven fall on me. Sing it loud now. Ready? Try again. Let it fall on me. Let it fall on me. Let the fire of the Lord from heaven fall on me. The power of the Holy Ghost, the fire that fell at Pentecost. Let the fire from heaven fall on me. Okay, y'all, we're out of time. God bless y'all. Y'all want to take your fire with